guys. Today I'm going to make a pork rind pizza crust. And um, in the past I've used a, a fathead dough and it just made me stall big time. And I some, some weeks I would gain weight and I was just like, what? Why am I gaining so much weight? And I really felt it was because of all the cheese. So this has minimal cheese. Um, these ingredients here, that is all. Um, you will need um, a bowl and like a pan, you know, cookie sheet or if you have a pizza pan and um, parchment paper. All right, let's just review the um, ingredients you need. You'll need garlic salt, Italian seasoning, pork rinds, grated Parmesan cheese, and an egg. Okay, so in your bowl, the first ingredient that you're going to put in is a quarter cup of pork rinds. Um, in my one of my previous posts, I did um, tell you that you can buy ground pork rinds on Amazon. It's kind of pricey to me, but it's really easy. <laughs> just, you know, measure it out. But in reality, like it's really easy to just grab a couple bags um, and you can actually grind them in the food processor and you could store them. Um, so that's what I do. So this is um, a quarter cup here. Put it in your bowl. It's a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese next. Okay. And then before we add the egg, we're going to go ahead and season. I start out with half a teaspoon of each and then just kind of go from there and see if I need to add more um, or less. All right, guys, I just want to um, correct something. It really isn't a half teaspoon. I would just do just a little bit and then go ahead and put it in. So it's like a little bit less than half. And um, same thing with your Italian seasoning. Um, I would just, you know, start out gradually. Don't put the whole half teaspoon because I don't really know how it's seasoned you like something. So if you need to add a little more of each, then that's what you can do. Just go at, you know, just kind of taste it as you go. Okay, guys, it's all mixed together. Um, I did, you know, I probably did a little extra um, of the garlic salt because it wasn't, I like a little bit extra salt. So, um, but the Italian seasoning, I did put a half teaspoon in there and then the garlic salt, I must've added a teaspoon, close to a teaspoon. So just to let you know, just kind of like taste a little bit of the crumbles and, you know, prepare it the way you like. But those are the two seasonings I use. If you use anything else, let us know in the comments and, you know, be fun to try different seasonings. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add the egg last. Okay guys, here's um, how it looks mixed. And make sure you mix it very, very well because you want to incorporate the, the egg everywhere. And then we're going to go ahead and transfer it to our pizza pan that we have ready with parchment paper, okay? All right, guys, I just wanted to show you how it looks on your pizza pan. And I'm going to go ahead and spread it out. And one thing I just want to um, mention is um, that this is kind of like a mini pizza. Um, I'll show you how it looks um, after I spread it. and. Um, but if you want to, you know, double the ingredients, then obviously you'll make a bigger pizza. So it looks, it is small. So it's like a serving size, um, sized. So. And quick tip on how I roll out a pizza dough. Um, I do put another piece of parchment paper on top and then I use my roller to roll it out. And then you could roll it real thin and stuff. So there you go. Trying to show you how I roll it out, kind of hard with one hand. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, then this is going to get removed here after you've spread it out, and there you can see. I'm going to move a little bit back. You could see my um, pan here and the crust, so it doesn't fill up the whole thing. So it depends on, like I said. Um, if you want it bigger, just double uh, double the ingredients, okay? I know it's not completely 100% round, 
but I thought it looked kind of like a heart. So maybe I will just <laughs> put a little niche in there. Hey guys, so um, you're gonna bake your pizza crust at 350 at, for 20 minutes. It's already in there. Um, for 20 minutes and um, halfway, about uh, halfway in, 10 minutes, um, you're gonna flip it. Um, and so if the crust is getting crispier on in your oven, then take it out. So it could be eight minutes for you. Um, it could, but you know, the total times usually takes about 20. But if it starts getting real browned, then go ahead and take it out. And so kind of time it and then you'll flip it and then you'll cook it for the, you know, the rest of the time. So you should always have the time on this and it's usually 10 minutes and then flip it and then bake it for another 10. Hey guys. Um, while the pizza crust is baking, I just wanted to give you a pointer. Um, sometimes if you have like a Dollar Tree or a 99 cent store, anything like that, they carry pork rinds most of the time. And, and I've seen, I mean, I've seen ladies with like a basket full of it. One time I went to the 99 cent store and they had gotten the last pack. But this one from Kroger is like a dollar ninety nine, And um, here's my, just wanted to show you. The pork rinds I had some left over so I just put them in this little jar and um, I'm telling you it saves money and um, I know it's a little extra step but if you're on a budget like we are then this works and I just wanted to show you my setup here as well okay I don't know if you could see that um, it's bubbling up um, and my timer has about two minutes left so I just kind of wanted to show you what it looks like in there all right guys, so here it is. And what you're gonna do is ever so slowly, just go ahead and um, start, you know, pulling it apart from the parchment paper so you can flip it, okay? Very, very slowly. And it's very, very, it really is very simple for it to come up. It's not very hard, but just do it slowly get all the way under there and then flip it all right I did it it's beautiful and now we're gonna be able to um, cook this side all right guys there is the finished pizza crust for now um, I want to uh, reiterate this for everybody my in my oven it takes 20 minutes so 10 minutes flip and then 10 minutes but really just watch it um maybe your oven cooks faster um so you want to watch it you don't want to burn it or anything so um or maybe yours is slower and may, you need to cook it longer so um and also keep this in mind you're gonna put this back in with your toppings um and heat that up so right now you basically just cooked your crust and then you're going to add the topping so then it'll also cook during that time as well so just keep that in mind too some people love crispy and some people don't this is um a little crispy you can hear that on the edges so I'll show you the other side and um so yeah one more thing i wanted to add this crust is basically zero carbs. Um, I the pork rinds I use zero, and my Parmesan cheese obviously zero. Eggs have no carbs. If anything, out of the minuscule that was in the Italian seasoning and the garlic, but I'm serious, it probably is like nothing. <laughs> it might be like point one. <laughs> carbs <laughs> but um so this is pretty much a zero carb pizza crust and then you know you're gonna add your cheese and you're gonna add your um turkey you know any toppings you want then obviously that's gonna bring up the carb count a little more um so but basically if you were to eat this crust it's zero carbs <laughs> all right guys my toppings are on um, the pizza sauce is about uh, a quarter cup of it. The brand I had had four 
grams of carbs. Um, the Italian style blend shredded cheese I have here, I put a quarter cup and that was two. And then the sliced pepperonis, 15 of them is less than one. So just count it as one. And then just a few little olives. So you're looking at roughly four, five, six, seven, let's say seven um, grams of carbs for this whole pizza. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the oven now. Well, it goes back in there now. And we'll just let everything kind of, the cheese melt and everything, okay? All right, guys, there you go. Looks so good. Can't wait to dig into this tonight.